Cause the H on my waist, but this bitch here stand for her maze. Oh, oh, okay, I did pop me a birthday. Cause I heard it help with the pain, but just help my back aches. Okay, uh, baby, it don't hurt me. Let's begin after three, cause a nigga likes it. Got some mileage, 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 mileage. Do you guys see where I'm at? I'm at the gym and I'm vlogging for the first fucking time ever. And do you want to know what time it is? It's one o'clock. I am so fucking determined to get this vlog out for you guys. Today I just had the randomest idea to just come super late. Imira, there ain't nobody here. Ain't nobody at the gym. And I am because hashtag games. My name is Daisy for those of you who don't know who I am. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my leg workout routine. Some days I focus more on um, quads. Some days I focus more on hamstring. Some days I focus more on glutes. A lot of you guys have been wanting to know what I've been doing for legs and I finally filmed for you that I finally filmed for you guys. Um, I really, really hope you guys enjoy um, this. These are the workouts that I have been doing consistently. I have seen like tremendous progress. Obviously, if you wanna see progress, you have to be consistent. You have to eat right. You have to if depending on like if you're cutting down whatever you have to get your cardio in i make sure to get my cardio in i've been making sure to eat right um get my protein in i've been making sure to just not eat too many bad foods and i've been making sure to get my workouts in every rep counts i'm sorry i look like trash i don't normally look like this but for some reason every time i vlog i look like fucking ass so enjoy the workouts and i will see you on the flip side what's up guys so for my first workout you guys have obviously seen many people squat before so this is kind of self-explanatory for my first workout i'm going to be squatting um, my first two sets of squats are going to be 95 pounds and i do that for about 12 to 15 reps each and then in between my sets of squats I always like to do either some lunging some squatting in place or some jump squats or anything that's really gonna keep my heart rate up you can do some band work in between your sets too um, just so you don't cool down in between your sets Lol. <laughs> My last two sets of squats I am going to be doing 135 pounds so I did bump up the weight um, and I do lower my reps so I'm not going to be doing 12 reps or 15 reps here I'm going to be doing about 8 to 10 sometimes I do 6 reps to be honest depending on how how strong I'm feeling that day like how difficult it is for me that day um so yeah and like i said always make sure to kind of keep your heart rate up in between your sets so that way you don't cool down and then right after i am done with these two sets of heavier weight i have completed four sets of squats in total by the way if i am talking a little bit too fast i am gonna have the workout listed in the description box down below for you guys since i kind of am speeding through this whole damn video so i'm going to be doing my second workout on the leg press i'm sure a lot of you guys are very familiar with this machine i start off with a wide stance and i do about 20 to 25 reps you guys are probably going to think that I am crazy because that's hella reps but my weight is pretty moderate I don't think I'm doing anything super duper crazy by the time that I get to my 12th rep it starts to get a little bit difficult for me but it's nothing I can't get through and then as soon as I'm done doing the wide stance this is the first part to my first set I'm gonna move on to the second part of my first set which is <clears throat> narrow stance and the narrow stance is gonna work the outer thigh muscles as where the wide stance is gonna work the inner thigh muscles and then again here I am going to be doing the 20 to 25 reps again keeping it at moderate weight sometimes I do go up in weight but for the most part I keep it at something that I can actually get through because I want to get through all of my reps by the way this is it's morning time so excuse my morning voice because I sound like a man 
fuck? <laughs> then I move on to the hip abductor machine. I love this one. I usually keep it at moderate weight for my first two sets and for my last two sets, I bump up the weight to something that's a little bit more difficult. Here I do, for my first two sets, I do about 20 to 25 reps. And for my last two sets, I do about 15 to 20 depending on how much weight I'm doing because sometimes it's so difficult but sometimes I can get through it and when I get through it I fucking feel like I'm dying because literally like it took me forever to get off this machine because I was like so done I was like fuck this shit I don't want to be here what the fuck my legs hurt oh my god but I love this machine it's great it's a good time Like I said, I'm going to have my whole workout listed in the description down below so that way you guys aren't confused because I am speeding through this. So next I work on quads. This is the leg extension for quads. I think that's what it's called. Not too sure. But I start off by doing 10 reps, just regular moderate weight. Again, something that's not too, too difficult, but something that's not too, too easy. Then I switch off legs. So then I go on to my left leg and I do 10 more reps. It starts to get so hard at this point because you're just doing one leg at a time. Oh, so by the way, I do lower the weight a little bit when I do one leg at a time because I cannot do that weight that I was doing before for one leg each. But yeah, so well, by the time that I get to my right leg and I'm done with my right leg, that is one set done right there. And you're going to want to repeat that four times. This kills me so bad, but I want my quads to look good. I want I want to have nice looking quads, you know, so sometimes you just got to burn out and it's not hard. Like the weight isn't hard. It's just the reps that kill you, man. Oh, my God. I'm in pain right now. Just looking at myself right here what I'm doing is only my second set and like you can tell by my face that I am dying internally and um, yeah but hashtag gains <laughs> so the same concept that I did on the leg extension for quads is going to be applied on the leg extension for hamstring um, I start off by doing 10 reps both legs um, with moderate weight and then after those 10 reps I switch off on each leg but um, hamstring is just a little bit more difficult for me so when I move on to each leg individually I try to get through 10 reps on each leg but for the most part on hamstring I can't because it's so difficult like I struggle with hamstrings I'm a little bit more quad dominant so when I do hamstring, I do like to keep it pretty slow for the most part because I want to have that mind to muscle connection because like I said, I'm not really good at doing hamstring, like I'm more quad dominant so I just really want to make sure I'm doing it correctly, I want to make sure I'm feeling it hella good and this kind of really does help me and I kind of low-key almost burn out my hamstring. Hamstring is literally so important. It's right below your ass. So you gotta make sure that looks hella good too. I'm just so passionate about hamstring, man. Like, I just really... Uh, you guys need to work on it. Don't forget to work on it. Finished doing, like, most of my weight training. I'm about to do some little shit. And then I'm gonna go back into the room and do some glute stuff. And then that's pretty much it. My leg routine isn't that complicated, but my reps and my weight get me so fucked up. I used to not do hamstring at all, like when I first started working out, but now I make sure to hit that shit real good because like that's where you have all of the cottage, you know?
have to go home and edit this video and have it up tomorrow but if you guys want to see the band work that I do I will have it in I'll have a little card up here in the video where I do the band work that I usually do so so when it comes to the ass and the glutes and the ass gains I love to do hip thrusts as well but they always vary depending on what's available on how many people there is um, and all that shit to be honest if I'm being completely honest I'm not I have been doing hip thrusts on the Smith machine recently that's what Viviani kind of low-key taught me um, but when I do a lot of work with quads and hamstrings I don't do that because I overwork myself and I get so fucking tired so I'm just gonna do lightweight ass work sure to squeeze the glutes when you're working on glutes squeeze the glutes as hard as you can I'd be squeezing my glutes so hard that my leg starts twitching let's cat and you're like dying midway but some lightweight hip thrusts I'm just gonna be doing about 25 reps four sets and I'm pretty much gonna be done. I did hit 30 minutes of cardio before this leg workout. Um, there are some other things that I do do. I want you guys to know that these are basically the workouts that I have been doing consistently every day on leg day. Sometimes I do cable kickbacks, but to be honest, I haven't even been doing those recently because whatever I'm doing now, what I'm doing now right like at this moment is working for me so well. Um, my goal i would say is to look super toned you know like i don't just want to be like one of those girls that have like a fat ass and no definition in their quads or their hamstrings like i want to have quads and i want to have hamstrings you know so that's why i do the certain workouts that i do um they're full-on leg workouts not just glutes but obviously i have to include glutes because i also want to grow that ass you feel me gonna be one in the morning right now this shit i fucking do but we out here getting the gains <laughs> I'm fucking done. I am so tired. Day four going strong. What's good? I look like fucking Frosty the snowman. Vlogmas vibes.